for loops with if statements and lists. Quite often when you've got a list and you're using a for loop to go through it, you want to do different things depending on what's in that list. And you can use an if statement in a loop with your list just as you would do outside of a list. So let's create a list and I'm going to do my shopping. This is my list of shopping. And let's say bread, jam, and marmite. There we go. So there we go. There's my sh list of shopping and off I go shopping. So for item in shopping, good stuff. And here we go. And we could just use an if statement. We could say if item, let's have a look. If item equals marmite, and I'll say, yeah, if item equals marmite, there we go. And then print. Uh, yuck. Uh, yuck. Else. Print. In fact, what we'll do? Let's create a. Uh, let's create a trolley. Here we go. There's our empty trolley. If the item is marmite, print yuck. Uh, and print. Yep. Let's get that. Let's get that. Good. And let's do trolley dot append item. There we go, because we don't like marmite. There we go. And at the end, let's print for item in trolley. Whoops. For item in trolley, print I bought item. There we go. So for each item in the shopping list that we're supposed to be getting, if that item equals marmite, print uh, yuck. There we go. And otherwise print yep, yeah, let's get that. And then add that item to the list. And then finally, for each item in the trolley, let's print what we bought. So we're just doing different things inside of this loop. If it's marmite, we ignore it because we don't buy that rubbish because it's horrible. Otherwise, we get it and put it in the trolley. And then finally, after this loop, notice how we've come back out of the loop by getting rid of the indents. We, for each item in the trolley, just print, I bought that item. There you go. That's how to use an if statement with a loop.